Hello, party people, and welcome to the Secrets of a Witch podcast with me, Sabrina Scott. And hello. <laughs> On this podcast, I talk about life, love, happiness, healing, spirituality, witchcraft, tarot, magic, and everything in between. And today, I want to talk about four ways that tarot can support you. In sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, the tarot has always been there for me, honestly. And it's been a tried and true friend and ally. And I honestly don't think I would be where I'm at today if it wasn't for the support of all of my tarot decks over the years. But in particular, the ones that I am super close with now. Like the tarot is just so amazing, so phenomenal, and today I just want to talk about one of the things, well, four of the things that tarot can do to support us. So specifically four ways tarot can support you. All right, all right, let's get rolling. So number one, tarot invites us to slow down. Tarot in many ways actually forces us to slow down, right? It's so interesting. So firstly, we've got to find our cards. We maybe even have to take some time selecting one deck from maybe the giant pile of many decks that we have, if you're me anyway. (laughs) Though I do have a few tried and true ones that I am working with almost exclusively these days. And then we have to connect with whatever the hell our intention is. What is it that we want to know? How are we even feeling in the first place? Good? Bad? Terrible? (laughs) I've literally never heard of anyone just grabbing their deck and picking off the top card as is, right? Like, it's pretty known and accepted within the practice that, hey, you got to (laughs) shuffle. The act of sitting down or lying down, you know, if you prefer, and shuffling a deck of cards... That in and of itself, like that shuffling, is an act of slowing down, of contemplation, meditation, breathing, just being present for a second or two, right? So from all I've known and seen over the past two decades of working with the tarot, it's in, I've seen that it's ingrained in us to shuffle for at least 30 seconds. <laughs> and many of us, myself included, shuffle for like multiple minutes. I've never seen people shuffle for less than 30 seconds. It's like not really something that I've seen. And you know what? That might be the first 30 seconds of your day that you've taken a breath, taken a moment to yourself, slowed down your body, your breathing, and your mind. And I know that slowing down is often the last thing we feel like doing in a crisis or really any moment in life where stress is overwhelming. And I don't know about you, but when I'm stressed out, I tend to feel a sense of urgency, like anxiety, panic, needing to solve things like now, 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 like go into solving mode, right? But even 30 seconds of connecting to breath, intention, slowing down our beings, slowing down our thought patterns can make all the difference in everyday life, but especially in times of crisis and panic. Like I know that slowing down is never served me badly to be honest like I've actually gotten much better results when I do take that moment to just like breathe exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale you know just like be with myself be with the breath just be still for a fucking minute in silence you know it's so important when we're in a panic we rarely make the best decisions you know, our thoughts can overwhelm us. And sometimes we don't have a choice. Like I totally get that. But if we do have that moment to slow down and realize that right now in this moment, we are safe and just take a breath. Everything that comes after that can be so much more grounded and stable. Even that simple act of shuffling cards can help remind us of this and invite us to slow down. Slow our bodies, slow our mind, slow our breath, slow our thoughts. And that slowing is like so important. So number two, 
tarot connects us to ourselves. When we slow down, it becomes a lot easier to connect with ourselves, with how we're feeling, with what we're scared of, with what our hopes are, what our dreams are. And when we're in a heightened state of anxiety, panic, stress, worry, or whatever, all of these things that crisis can bring up for us and make super sticky and spicy and uncomfortable, we can easily become disconnected from ourselves, our internal state, and the reality of our bodies in this present moment. We can become clouded by fear or anxiety, and those things are not us, right? They're feelings, sure. Mental states, sure. But they are not who we are. Taking some time to draw a tarot card or two or three during our current moment of global crisis can reconnect us to the core that is ourselves. To the reality that right now, in this exact second, this very moment, above all else, we are okay. We're okay. We might be anxious. We might be sick. We might be stressed. We might be making ourselves sick with anxiety. And believe me, I've been there. All for what? What does that help? And so pulling cards during times of crisis can bring us back to ourselves, to our bodies, our sensations, the specificities of all these different things that we might be feeling. And if we just take that moment of stillness, working with the cards, we can probably untangle a whole hell of a lot of it. Tarot can help us do that. Tarot can bring us back to ourselves when we are overwhelmed. We might see ourselves in the cards and might be validated by the cards and learn something about ourselves and how we're dealing in the present moment and maybe even what to do next. Number three, tarot shows us what is hidden. And when we're in crisis mode, it's so easy to miss things. And it happens to me too, no judgment. I know if I'm feeling super anxious, paranoid, or worried about the state of the world... I felt myself get totally clouded, forgetting who I am and being disconnected from my body, the present moment's reality, all of that. You know, when our bodies are so activated by stress and drama and crisis, it can be easy to forget that, oh, I'm at home in my apartment. Everything's cool. Everything's good. I'm okay. And so when we take a moment to pull a card... The card that comes up almost always shows us something that we didn't see or don't know. I know for me that's been the case. It's either something I didn't want to see or something that I simply couldn't see because I was so clouded by the moment of crisis and stress. And so when tarot shows us what is hidden from us in our crisis brain moments, it can jolt us out of our sense of panic, fear, dissociation, complacency, distraction, or whatever it is we're going through. When we see what's been hidden from us, new futures become possible and suddenly available to us, which is super fucking cool, in my opinion. I lo- I don't know. I just love it. I think it's so beautiful and tarot has just held me through so many ups and downs. So number four, tarot inspires new ways of being. So once we've been able to slow down, connect with ourselves and see what's hidden, new ways of being come into view and then it becomes a lot easier to shift direction. We can see how many choices are available to us when we might not have been able to see them before. We can see that we're not quite as trapped as we thought or as trapped as we felt like we were. We start to see new options. We become reconnected to our sense of personal agency, our sense of power. The cards can show us new ways of being in the world, which is just so beautiful and special and powerful. So depending on which cards we draw, a nasty pattern that it's time to break out of can come up or maybe even an invitation to reconnect with our artistic side or dive into our spirituality and to take action this time instead of passively fading into the distance. Like how beautiful is that invitation? If we want to feel differently, we need to actually take different action and the tarot can remind us of this and actually show us what the fuck to do. 
Here's why I love it. <laughs> Tarot can cut through that confusion and provide some decisive instructions on what steps would best serve us in connecting with ourselves and moving past the shit we are in. Tarot can provide a map out of whatever confused muck we happen to be swimming in. It can reveal new ways of looking, new ways of thinking, new ways of being. Inspiration on what to move away from and what to move towards. And no two cards are the same, which is what's so cool about the tarot. So the advice can get pretty fucking specific. And often if we follow this advice fearlessly, we will be forever changed. And so in these moments of global crisis, recession, craziness, recovering from the pandemic, inflation, just like oh, all this bonkers shit happening in the world, we're often called to be our best version of ourselves and that can be a big challenge and so the question is are we going to rise to that challenge are we going to move up are we going to level up are we going to grow are we going to expand into the challenge the opportunity of this present moment to be the most courageous version of ourselves to be the most thoughtful version of ourselves tarot can show us how and where and why to direct our efforts to support our own health and wellness as well as that of others, right? Which is why I fucking love the tarot. (laughs) It's so good, especially right now with the world being insane. And, you know, I would really love to start living in precedented times rather than a constant like upheaval of the endless unprecedented times. Like, oh my God, that would be nice. (laughs) But since this tumultuousness is probably going to continue for a little while, we might as well learn how to move through it and work with our witchy and divinatory skills to live our best life in spite of it all. And so those are four ways that the tarot can help support us as we're trying to do that. If you are interested in learning more about the tarot, I actually have an amazing tarot bundle on sale right now and it includes my tarot boss masterclass which is a must if you are thinking of ever reading tarot professionally also includes an amazing class that i taught at the beginning of the pandemic which is called tarot at the end of the world which i go over like all of the shitty cards in the tarot (laughs) as well as some really hopeful ones and how to read them how to not be totally intimidated by and afraid of them because i think in crisis time sometimes people are horrified and afraid of their tarot cards that master class will zap that right out of you and the tarot bundle also includes my energy work workshop too if you're only interested in one of those you can still get that by itself the bundle does include all the fun savings so if you're curious about that if you can't find it on my website it should be actually no the bundle it won't be on my website the bundle is available via email only so email me at ceo at sabrina m scott for that bundle if you're just interested in any of those workshops individually that will be on my website easy to find under either the courses or offerings section i'm going to be updating it shortly so check that out any questions about any of that send me an email i am more than happy to help you out and point you in the direction of growth and whatever you want out of your tarot journey next um i also have a massive course huge 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 called tarot without bullshit which is currently closed for enrollment but if you're curious about the self-study version of that pop me an email and if you are really feeling motivated if you are feeling super juicy and electric about what you heard today and if you're really really motivated to kickstart your tarot journey i might be able to make an exception and just let you in even though the doors are currently closed so send me a hello if that sounds like you ceo at sabrinamscott.com as always thank you so much for listening please give me a lovely five-star review this podcast is also now available on youtube so my youtube is youtube.com slash sabrina scott no m in there because i guess there's less sabrinas on youtube weirdly which is great but also strange so that's it for now thank you so much for listening i love and appreciate you so much and i hope you're having a wonderful day Talk to you guys soon. Bye.